obsessed with Capricorn that she's not able to get over. But she's but when she's sitting in her domain, when she thinks about love, it's pure, it's innocent. Okay. Let's clarify this two of wands for Capricorn. Why is the two of wands here for Capricorn? Spirit, tell us about the two of wands. We got the page of swords in reverse. So, wow, this, this air sign, you must have air in your chart because there's no way that another person is going to affect you like this on a soul math, on a soul matter. You could have had a father that was an air sign, a mother that was an air sign. Your, your traditional beliefs is always like physical assets and then over, you know, mind over matter matter over mind it's always the two you're always up in your head okay here's the page of swords it's you need someone who's on the same page as you when it's um who's on the same page as you period who understands your tongue okay someone who understands your irrationality to be so quick haste and quick witted and be a little um offensive be defensive be rude okay be blunt be raw Someone who can take your dramatic ways, you're up, then you're down, okay? One minute you're like this, like, woman doing something that nobody knows what you're doing, and then the next minute you're sitting here. You're of all ages or something, but every time, everywhere you turn, it's like you're one minute so rah, and then the next minute you're just like the same temperature, but not so inviting it's like you're this little girl here and you're rocking on your rocking chair looking at it and then you turn around and you look at the guy and they're like whoa okay like if you're possessed you know those kind of movies there's childhood trauma here that's what i want to say okay there's a transformation needed and it may stem from a motherhood from your mother or something but there's something here capricorn that you might need to to dissect Okay, you could be dealing with a Virgo, okay? Wow, this is this is very intense. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put all of these away, and I'm going to have Spirit give me one card for you, okay? So you give me that one card for Capricorn. What do they need to hear? Okay, the Four of Swords. More Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy. You know, I think someone would pay to know what's going on up in your head type of thing. Um, okay. We need direction, but before you need direction, you need rest. They're telling Capricorn to get some rest and not even care about what you need to do yet. Don't be so focused on moving because it looks like Capricorn, you're someone who's fixated on movement. You're fixated always on movement. You've even mastered the crown chakra, which is in your head. You may have um, air, air sign in your chart, okay? Air and water even, and you're very complexed perplexed you need to just relax you need to take some time for yourself okay you let you let the the harsh words get to you i don't know who said what i don't think anyone said anything and i don't think anyone was going to say anything i think you i think you made it up in your head like, yeah, sure, you're dressed a little weird for the occasion, but nobody said anything about a woman in the garden. There's a woman in the garden, if you've ever seen Shaun of the Dead. <laughs> but it looks like you can be whoever you want to be. That's what I want to say. Capricorn can be whoever she or he wants to be. This is, this is your God-given right, and for this reading is what Spirit wants you to know. But 
What were your thoughts? What are your thoughts? You know? What are your thoughts? You know, you're not a kid anymore. So not everybody is watching your movements like so. This man is not... Um, is not turned off by who you are. He's got a little neurotic kind of thing, erotic kind of erotic, and you're neurotic. You guys could be twin flames, but you know he's somebody who who's lived his time, and he'll sit there and he'll watch you, just like this fox will or that horse. He'll watch you, and he won't. He's not going to be scared by what you believe and how you think, all the things that you mourn, even if. For some people, it's it's nothing. If you mourn someone, you mourn losing money more than you've ever mourned a death, you know, that's okay. You have this really wild spirit about you. Maybe you prefer to be alone. Maybe you prefer, like, your animals. Maybe you prefer animals over people, you know. And when you meet that one guy, that's one thing. I think you didn't feel like you would have met the guy that you were going to be with or the girl. You thought that maybe some of you, some of you Capricorns are only um, animal savvy. Maybe you feel like you only communicate with animals or in the wilderness. It's like you feel like you've been, you were born out in the wilderness or something. <laughs> like your communication with people is off. It's just off. Anytime somebody's, you just, you don't, you don't understand it. You know what I mean? Maybe that's why some of you are fearful of what you have that you can offer to the table because even being an earth sign, you feel like you don't even have those, that you don't really have those um, necessary tools for some of us out here. We feel like we come off one way, but we're totally another, some of us. Some of us just had a very interesting upbringing, okay? Some of us were left to stay inside. We didn't get to go out and play. You know what I mean? So we never really got to talk with people. Okay. You know, some of us could have been watched while we were sleeping when we were younger. You know what I'm saying? We never really had that privacy while we're alone. You always are having your defenses up. You see, you got that knife right there that someone really can't see. It's camouflage, even though you've got your one here to show that, hey, I'm ready to, to fight somebody. Okay, it could be mother and mother and daughter issues here too. But there is somebody here, and he's a fellow earth sign. That's someone who understands your soul nature, something that you may not know yet. And he's just... I don't want to say he's just as like neurotic as you and just different and lovely as you modern day hippies and whatnot. You know, I don't want to say that, but he has exactly what you need. Just the open mind. If anything, you see his hand here. It's kind of like he's only got these. He's so I'm going to hold up my, my, my chest here, but he's holding his waist. It's like this. These two fingers are in and he's like that. So he's got a little something about him too, okay? And it could just be the earth sign thing. But, you know, and then, you know, his other fingers ever so gently on his possessions. I think he's got the perfect balance of what you have and what you don't have, okay? And even though you two come from two different worlds, okay, so he may or may not be an earth sign, you two, you two will definitely correspond, okay? This little boy and this little girl, grew up into these people today. They just have what each other needs, okay? He, they have what each other needs. Notice he's always holding something too. He could have gone through some trauma as well when he was younger. And he's always got his weapon and his thing and he holds it with delicacy, but it's here, honey, and you ain't messing with me. You know, and she's the same way. But then there's a part of her who doesn't have a weapon either. She's just someone who knows how to handle you know, the animosity and the negativity, the the violence that people try to bring upon her. But she's still only a woman and she loves. She's feminine and beauty, right, Capricorn, you are? So it's like you you, you take anyone's chance before they can before they can get it. It may be um, an issue with um, uh, men and women. It may be like, you know, maybe you had men and women watching over you or just men, somebody who, you know, your mom who's out the window as a spirit then you have like this fox here who could be a boy or a girl you just grew up 
you know, different and shy, shy away from the world, okay? You mourn loss like no other. You just have a very interesting um, intake on life, okay? I mean, this is what it does to you. It cripples you indefinitely. It, you, you just get crippled, you know, when you think about love. But then again, in a dream, in another life, this is how you see yourself loving. So it's very, it's taxing. It's taxing. And, you know, spirit wants you to relax. Spirit wants you to relax, okay, and be confused no more. This man that you've met recently, he doesn't have to be an earth sign. He's the one for you, okay? And I don't see third-party situations here. I see someone who just knows that they're going to be someone that doesn't have third-party situations. They could be someone who has had third-party situations, okay? They're still a man, Okay, men and women deal with things differently, but that means both of you have been um, tempted by money people. Both of you have been had your wild ride, but it's someone, you look, it's a wish fulfillment now. It's someone who's coming around to um, stop the bullshit, and so are you, okay? Because you both, you both have been through it with each other. You both may um, relocate. I just saw the relocating card, okay, and come up on some major assets here. That'll be nice, okay? Okay, Capricorn, I'm so sorry for the long video, but I hope that helped. Thanks so much. Bye.